Good morning everyone. Thank you for stopping by and I hope my title brought you to this video. Jehovah Witnesses, it's almost going to be 100 years. 100 years when Christ came down and inspected the watchtower chose them to be the only true religion out of tons of false religions at that time when he expected the religions. Now it's not counting the new ones way after that. So we have an issue because it's going to be end of this year 2019 will be a hundred years so what I want to talk about from the Bible <clears throat> when the Israelites rebel worshiping false gods um, taking the children and cause them to to walk through fires, commit adultery, fornication, adultery. You know, basically worshiping other false gods. I got a bird outside wants to help. He punished them years. Some of it was 40 years, 70 years. They was punished. So my question is, will Christ return and to see if he really chose the right religion or where he returned and realized he messed up and chose the wrong religion there's another part I wanted to bring out they told us that um there was a governing body members in Jerusalem after Christ died. Oh really Watchtower? The bird's getting on my nerves. So I want to bring out the only thing I could find in several different bi Bibles. They brought out the word elders, bishop, the Pharisees, but nothing about the governing body, but it did mention ordered men. Now, let's say some of these el elders, could they have been the governing body members? Could it be the Pharisees that watched Tower? And making us believe that um, there was government body members at that time. So let's uh, see what the Bible says. Let's go to Acts 15 verse 6. And now the apostles and the elders came together. Consider this matter. The matter of um, should the Gentiles should be circumcised and that's what the the governing body of elders or whoever you you want to look at was having problems so let's go to um, Acts 15 1 and a certain man, 
men came down from Judea and taught that the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. Isn't that exactly what Watchtower is teaching? If you don't come to Jehovah's organization or come to the Watchtower, you cannot be saved. Could these men of Judea could be the governing body members that they was watchtowers trying to say they they was in the Bible, but trying not to find scriptures that's not exactly pointing to their their direction, especially, you know, this would be embarrassed. If the watchtower was using this this verse here. So let's continue a little bit more. Acts 15 4. And when they had come to Jerusalem, they were received by the church, the apostles, and the elders. They reported all the things that God has done with them. This is talking about. Paul, Barnabas, and Peter talk about God was blessing the Gentiles and they were receiving the Holy Spirit and they got baptized. Some got baptized and got the Holy Spirit, but these got the Holy Spirit before they got baptized. So the part I want to bring out, when Peter was on top of the roof praying, and God showed him the things about the Gentiles. They are not evil. They're not unholy. And he never mentioned to Peter when you see Cordias, tell him for him his family have to be circumcised first before I give them the Holy Spirit. Never said that. Never said that. Now think about that for a second. Never told Peter to tell Cordias and his family they had to be circumcised before they got the Holy Spirit. Now, here's the thing, people. If these people were supposed to be the governing body members, or these elders, or these older men, How come they was fighting against the apostles and also Apostle Paul himself? When these people have one-on-one -on -one communication with Christ, so that has to be proved that there was no government body members at that time. Because when the door was open for people like me and you to have the same hope and wonderful future like the Israelites, the Jewish people, was also given to the Gentiles. Because remember, Christ came to preach to his people. Then, after his death, the door was open for the Gentiles. So, think about it. There is no government body at that time. It was all based of lies. There is no other one could go over the heads of the disciples. 
because the disciples was with Christ all the time. So how can these other men or the fake government body members would have more knowledge than the disciples? Something to think about. So going back to the uh, 2019 to uh, back to 1919 did Christ chose Watchtower to be the true religion? No. Because if he did he would already came back and probably take his whip out like he did with the people in the temple was selling animals in God's house he probably would have put a ass whooping on all its eight government body members for going downhill which they never even went up the hill to even have the truth So people, if you want to believe this evil, corrupt organization was the best of the best of the best of all, all the other religions, may God in Christ judge you to our uh, because you picking an organization has done more damage than most religions out there I know about Jehovah Witnesses I've been there done it had an open mind and also I remember things and it stayed up here. Little bitty doubts. Something that's not right. And it grew. And it grew. Was I afraid. To do research. To make sure. If it was me. Or the religion. See, I don't want to lose my life. Eternal life. If it's me. Then I wouldn't be making these videos. So it must be the religion that I left. All the lying, misleading, misguiding Jehovah's Witnesses all these years. I wish Christ would return if he did chose this false religion. But he didn't. He never would. He never came back in 1919. Because it would be an unfair test. When other religions. Wasn't going around. And saying that uh, Armageddon. Started in 1914. 1915. And what. 1918, all the churches all over the world would be destroyed, and the only ones who was going to be left was going to be the Bible students. And that's not even counting the future prediction of 1925 nonsense, which a Freddie friend said, Judge Rockefeller's own words from his own mouth, I made an ass out of myself. About 1925. Well, guess what, Jehovah Witnesses? I made my uh, ass out of myself believing that I was in the true religion and the only true religion. So, where are you standing right now? Are you in that false religion? 
or did you do what I did? Got out and start relying on the truth of the Bible, the real Bible. Not that thing was published by a Watchtower. So people, I hope this video gets you to understand. Anyone can go around claiming God chose them, claiming God is with them. Remember what happened to the Israelites. Now you gotta think about the watchtower. Have you seen all the evidence they have cover up? All the videos we have put out to prove this is a wicked organization. It's your choice. Soon or later, all false religions and Jehovah's Witnesses will be destroyed. That's a guarantee and that's a promise. Otherwise, you can't have a new earth if it's going to be full of false religions, false gods, worshiping Michael the Archangel. You can't have a true paradise full of lies. Because that's not counting the pedophiles. Can you imagine living in the new system? And you're afraid to open your doors because you don't know which Jehovah Witness or Elder will come in and molest your children? I wouldn't want to live in a paradise like that. And if their God Jehovah didn't stop Jehovah Witnesses now from being pedophiles, I mean, he approved. He approved the witnesses allowed to rape their own children. Elders allowed to rape their own children. And other people's children. Is that kind of world that you want to live in? That Jehovah wants you hurt children? Isn't that contrary to what Christ said? Anyone harm any children should have a Millstone cast pulled around the neck and cast into the sea. Think about it. So I'm done with this video and um, I hope y'all will learn something here. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.